I'm Jax Mackey, and this is my van build. I'm taking this once empty cargo truck and converting it into a tiny living space. All right, so I'm going to carry on this week with uh, some more cabinet work. I'd like to get the galley cabinet and this bench seat um, sort of finished painted. Get the drawers and doors mounted. Uh, possibly the countertop and the backsplash. We'll see how that all goes. Um, we'll focus on that this side. And then all we'll have left then is the electrical compartment um, and the bench. And then we'll be able to carry on with the, with the wiring um, in another video. I've got all my connectors now, so I should have everything I need to finish this part of the project. But yesterday what I did was I lugged in the refrigerator and um, I installed a couple of... Um, back mounts so that the refrigerator will push up tight against that and then i also installed some um some pads that will help center uh, and hold the refrigerator in place uh, there's a little bit of uh, variation in thickness on these the front ones but the rear ones are going to be nice and tight uh, so that fridge will hold hold in there pretty nice um, once it's all done and said so right now what I'm going to do is take a um, <clears throat> lightly sand um, everything that's painted gray and touch up all the front faces here of uh, this cabinet and we're going to paint that gray as well I'm probably going to cut in a, a six inch or so stripe of um, of gray just as you're looking inside there'll be a little bit of a gap uh, and so as you can see they'll you'll see gray not necessarily white uh, the interior of the cabinets I'm just gonna leave them as is all right so trying to lay out this tile um, I got a light switch right there not the most appropriate place for the light switch but uh, that line that line represents the end of the countertop I don't really want to go much beyond that with the tile now there's going to be that flip up uh, extension but um, I don't really want to go into that area with the tile so i'm going to stop it there and we'll just adjust that hole and accommodate for that switch to be just outside of where the tile is uh, but that leaves me you know two inches short here so what i'm going to have to do is probably uh cut this first tile down probably you know eight inches and that'll shift everything over and leave it with a little bit wider uh, section on this side so uh, I, I do have plenty of tiles so there, there is no you know fear of not having enough so I'll have to uh, there'll be a short section up on top there and then but otherwise that that'll be uh, and then the tile will come uh, along this side too as well uh, so that'll finish that that side off too uh, so yeah, that's that's where we're at with it.
we go. Not bad, not bad. Tiny gap up there, maybe we can throw some trim up along that edge, we'll see though, but otherwise, we'll clock that bottom edge there where the countertop there connects. Now we just gotta fill in that section. That ought to be fun. I'm super happy with that. Uh, looks good. Perhaps a little trim along the top, but otherwise I'm not sure if I necessarily need it. I could probably throw a nice bead of white caulk up there and that'll be done with that. And then of course once the once the countertop is in. That's gonna look pretty badass. Pretty badass. Okay, so we're getting the, the countertop uh, kind of fitted into place. Uh, making sure that I've covered all the bases. Um, I had to trim a little bit. Uh, there was a lip on these, um, the tiles so that you know they would fit into the next one. I trimmed off the lip on the bottom to make sure that that would slide in real nice. So that fits in through the back. I've got the, the flip up here uh, hinged. Uh, there's just uh, just enough clearance uh, to miss that switch and, and of course the uh, the backsplash themselves. So there's a you know there's a gap here which is fine. Um, so when we extend that out, they'll that'll be nice. There'll be access to the um, to the outlet that's down there too. If I plug something in and want to set it up on the counter, I'll be able to, you know, run it along the edge there and it'll be, it'll be neat and tidy. But that's, that's the extension. And then this is, um, uh, dimmable for the galley lights. I can see I got started installing the galley lights now. Um, they're nice little units. Um, that's what's going to go in the entire build is uh, these, I, I think they're cool uh, LEDs, cool lights. But this wire is, you know, incredibly tiny, thin. And what I used for all my electrical um, was actually a 12 gauge wire. Uh, stuff that you would run, you know, like a standard in a, in a home, but this is all just two wire uh, for 12 volts. Uh, I ran heavier wire to minimize the voltage droppage, uh, but unfortunately, making the connection between this thin wire and this heavy gauge wire is, is a little problematic. So what I've come up with a solution is, is I've got these terminal um, ferrules and this particular ferrule uh, fits really nicely on the thin wire. And then once it's crimped with the crimper, it slides into um, this particular ferrule here, or this uh, terminal, uh, barrel terminal, that is meant for 12 gauge. So that red fitting fits inside there, and then I crimp that onto that. And then, then I have a nice and tidy um, nice and tidy fitting. So let me go ahead and make one of those really quick. Now these these lights um, actually have um, a 12 volt negative mark on it, um, but they're at the very end of this long, long wire, which is, you know, incredibly unuseful at the moment. But what it does have though, is on the negative wire, if you looked real close, I'm not sure if the camera will pick that up or not, but there's little dashes. You can see that it's a darker 
it's a darker color and it has dashes on it. So that in, uh, signifies that it's, that's the 12, that's the negative side of, of the light. So that's pretty handy. Go ahead and strip these back quite a ways because them ferrules are, are long. One, definitely want a good, uh, good connection in there. So I'm just going to twist that wire and then that red barrel uh, ferrule fitting slides over providing your finger isn't uh, sticky. It's pretty muggy right now. We got rain this afternoon so I kind of shut it down for a couple hours. All right, so then this is a pretty neat um, crimping tool where it, it specifically for these ferrules and it comes around and it makes a four-sided uh, uh, four terminal here. So basically what's nice about these is they consolidate uh, all the little wires into a sort of a semi-solid um, connector. It makes it a lot easier to handle and, and manipulate. And then all I do then is I take this, uh, this, this other fitting, this barrel fitting, and I slide that over that. And then that gets crimped and that makes for a tight uh, connection so that's what I'm doing and then of course these are heat shrink uh, terminals these are marine grade terminals they have the glue inside the, the heat shrink so it creates a really nice um, seal and a bond between the fitting and, and the, uh, the wire itself so definitely be a solid connection here and that's about it and that's how I'm going to um, that's how I'm going to connect all of the lighting in in the whole van all right so we got the I got all the ceiling lights uh, installed wired in and all the galley lights uh, the galley pucks for them that were installed. I got a little touch up paint, a little clean up here and there, but otherwise those are done. So now I'm gonna focus my attention here on the sink. Uh, we're gonna drop the sink in and get that installed. We can throw the drawers in. I've got the countertop uh, screwed down and that's solid now. So that's coming along pretty nicely. And this is the sink we're gonna drop in there. It's got a it's got a grate for the bottom and it's got this nice um, um, kind of a colander kind of a thing here that's gonna drop in there and as well uh, as we've got a uh, drop-in uh, cutting board and I've also got just below that is the um, the butcher block top from the countertop itself that I actually um, cut down and, and that'll fit in there too so it'll be like a seamless countertop when you put that all together uh, this is the drinking water faucet and then we've got the other uh, the main faucet right there so we're going to install this drain with a little butyl tape and start with that all right I've already gone <clears throat> I've already gone and drilled uh, drilled the hole for this drinking water spigot so that's just gonna go there this will get connected to the RO water Oh, 
if I want to seal that or not. Well, if I need to. There's a rubber grommet. All right, so the sink is uh, it's ready to go in. And I'm pretty much going to guarantee that this is, is going to be a absolute bugger uh, to get mounted in from underneath. Uh, it's pretty tight conditions. Uh, definitely tight under here with the water heater and uh, the reverse osmosis. And then I got to snake these brackets up in from behind and uh, hooked onto the sink and getting those tightened down. So it, like I said, it's going to be an absolute bugger getting this thing in here. So I probably won't film much or I won't film that process. I don't, you know, I don't really want to subject you to the profanity that I'm sure I'm going to spew. Uh, <laughs> so give me a few minutes uh, and, and I'll get back to you. So now I'm just uh, reinstalling the drawer slides, getting the drawers put back in. It is uh, very warm today. Very, very warm. But trying to push on so all right so I uh, change your t-shirts uh, exceptionally warm today about 96 97 degrees um, I got pretty sweaty <laughs> so I took a break had some lunch have a think and um, looking at the colors you know I got quite a bit of colors going on I mean not vibrant colors but just different colors I got white and gray and I got a brownish and I got a a wood grain so I, I wanted to make sure that everything was sort of gonna meld together and I had a flooring picked out unfortunately the uh, flooring I had picked out was a special order flooring so I went with a different brand and a different you know color variation a little bit than I originally uh, had picked out because it wasn't stock and, and went ahead and brought it home and uh, puts them out on the floor here just to see exactly you know how the different things are going to look so between the floor and the cushion and the gray cabinets and then you've got this butcher block and the backsplash is a little brownish um, it matches the same it's the same as the shower uh, but it's got a brown you know brownish hint instead of gray but I think what works here is the fact that the butcher block goes with the gray or the brown backsplash okay and it does go with the cushion because there is some browns in there and it sort of you know goes down into the grays um, into the floor and then there's the black with with some black trim elements and then of course you know it goes decent well enough with the white too so I think I think I think this will work. Um, it's going to take some some doing to get this in here because of the way um, the the width here. Um, I'm going to have to run five five planks and and then rip the outside in order to to make it work because I, I don't want a sliver. That would you know that would be kind of Yankee I think if I went with just a uh, you know one and a half inch sliver there so I'll probably put a plank split the plank right down the middle and then fill in fill in the outsides as I go down so I think that'll work out pretty well uh, we're still off on the flooring as far as installation that'll be one of the last things I do um, just about buttoned up over here on the sink and the, the galley section a couple more things I got to look at, but I think uh, we're overall I'm done with that. I'm waiting on. 
I, I, I didn't order enough hinges. So I'm waiting on a pair of hinges for that door. Uh, once I get that door mounted, then I can I can go ahead and mount that false uh, that false door where the sink is going to go. And I obviously can't fit anything there. So that's that. Uh, the sink is installed. I got this butcher block uh, cut out that I used. I've got the uh, butcher or the blocking that uh, the cutting board that came with the kit is right there but then, then there's the sink so this will work out pretty well you just got to be real careful taking it in and out because the handle here uh but that's it that's uh and it's got a pull down pull down handle there's your drinking water um and then that should be in pretty good shape so but i think i'm going to wrap it up right here because that's pretty much what i've got left um, there really isn't much really to to add to this so we'll go from we'll go from there so thanks a lot for tuning in check uh, check next week uh, there'll be another uh, big electrical uh, installment of the video so be sure to tune in then thanks a lot for uh, checking it out see you next week